The Battle of Big Bethel. The, the Battle of Big Bethel, I was there. It's like it was just yesterday, I was there, I was running. I was taking my sweet time. I got shot. I got shot. I'm dead. That could only mean one of two possibilities. Either one, this is Back to the Future, I'm dead. Going back to the future. Or, oh, this could mean that the ghost of Santiago Perez has brought me back. What happened? The Battle of Big Town. The Battle of Big Bethel was one of the earliest land battles of the American Civil War after the surrender of Fort Sumter. It was a battle between the Union Army and the Confederate Army, which took place on June 10, 1861, in Hampton in York County, Virginia. Although it was a smaller battle, it got more publicity because it was one of the first engagements in the war. During this battle, the Union, led by Benjamin F. Butler and Ebenezer W. Pierce, had a total of 3,500 men. 18 were killed, 53 were wounded, and 5 were missing in action while the Confederacy, led by John B. Magruder and Daniel H. Hill, had a total of 1,400 men and suffered eight casualties in total, one person killed and seven wounded. Although there is a big monument there to be seen, it only displays the names of the Union soldiers. The one that our group focused on was the one for the Confederate soldiers, which is small and hidden behind a gate. The area is mostly covered with either trees or water. Yeah. Kind of like trying to cross the the thing with, over that tree. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Say nay, Mr. Cole, today. Oh, yeah. Yep. Right. It's used mostly as a recreational area. They have piers set up for people who want to go boating and also for people who want to go fishing. They have a park for kids who want to come by and a field for people like Brian Moon who went to go do lacrosse practice. The area is also occupied by people who want to go and enjoy themselves with the sport of paintball. The area also has an array of animals, including ducks. This will be in our video. Right, we'll watch it good this probably, because Nathan, Nathan will be editing it. I'm sure I'll include it somehow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got to. That's this was I mean, really, we did get like the most footage from the ducks, so you have to include them somehow. This was our whole video. Come on. You're like, this is such a shame. I know you love ducks, so our video is entirely 10 minutes of ducks. <laughs> the Union's battle plan was to strike at night. They had code words and not everyone got them. Um, Boston was the one word that not everyone got. They were supposed to say Boston to each other to find out if they were Union. And they also had white stripes around their arms as like um, cloths to know they are Union soldiers. But not all the Union soldiers knew all the information so uh, they had friendly fire. 
Alright, near the end of the battle, Wyatt, or Henry Lawson Wyatt, he was ordered to run across a 200 yard open field to be a sniper against the Union soldiers, but he got hit in the head with a, mu a musket ball. and got shot through his brain and he died but he had four or three other people with him and they laid down until a, a howitzer gun came through and hit the Union soldiers and then they got up and they, this was near the end of the battle and they so the Confederacy only lost one guy and he was 19 years old the Union lost 18 men 53 were wounded and 5 were missing in action. Because every state that was in the New World, or the, the, um, every state was a part of the Union, and when they fought over slavery, they, one was called the Union, which was the North States, and then one was con called the Confederacy because they were fighting for freedom. I don't know how that is called, why that's called Confederacy, but. The word confederacy means an alliance or a group of people who have banded together for a common cause. This name was chosen by the American South in the Civil War because they saw themselves as confederates, eleven states that came together to fight. The South wanted to leave the Union of the United States and become their own sovereign nation. Yo. And they were the last one to leave the Union, and they were the first state that lost a man in war. Implemented here in the structure dedicated to the first Confederate casualty in the war is the artistic use of contrast employed through the difference in the man-made Vermont white granite stone piece and the lush, natural, verdant scenery behind it, in addition to the bright colors of the wreath in front of the monument. Another piece of artistic symbolism used here is the symmetrical quality of the monument's outward appearance, while the back of the rough cut stone provides a striking anti-symmetrical contrast to its smooth surface. You talking about that one? Yeah. Uh, one important factor to note is the difference in size between the Union and Confederate monuments, which is a source of outrage for Confederate families and those with hearts. In addition to a covering of the Confederate monument with a chain-link fence, which distinctly blocks out its view from any passers-by, unlike the Union monument, which is along the road. Okay, the Battle of Big Town. <laughs> 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 We're including that. We're including that. <laughs>